Bengali music Bengali, Banla Sangeeta comprises a long tradition of religious and secular song writing over a period of almost a millennium. Composed with lyrics in the Bengali language, Bengali music spans a wide variety of styles. The Bengal region of the Indian subcontinent is currently split between Bangladesh and the Indian state of West Bengal. History The earliest music in Bengal was influenced by Sanskrit chants, and evolved under the influence of Vaishnav poetry such as the 13th century Gitagavindam by Jayadeva, whose work continues to be sung in many Eastern Hindu temples. The Middle Ages saw a mixture of Hindu and Islamic trends when the musical tradition was formalized under the patronage of Sultan and Nawabs and the powerful landlords Baro Buyans. Much of the early canon is devotional, as in the Hindu devotional songs of Ramprasad Sen of Bhakta who captures the Bengali ethos in his poetic, rustic, and ecstatic vision of the Hindu goddess of time and destruction in her motherly incarnation, Ma Kali. Another writer of the time was Vidyapati. Notable in this devotional poetry is an earthiness that does not distinguish between love in its carnal and devotional forms. Some see connections between this and Tantra, which originated sometime in the middle of the first millennium CE. Topic Forms Topic Bishnupur Gharana The Bishnupur Gharana is the sole classical Drupad Gharana of Bengal. It originated in Bishnupur, Bankura by the court musicians of the Mala kings. Bahadur Khan of Delhi, a descendant of the Tansan, was the father of Bishnupur Gharana. Bahadur Khan was brought to Bishnupur by Mala King Raghunath Singha II. Topic: <laughs> Ball. The balls meaning divinely inspired insanity are a group of mystic minstrels, Muslim Sufis and Hindu Baishnos from the Bengal region who sang primarily in the 17th and 18th centuries. They are thought to have been influenced greatly by the Hindu tantric sect of the Kartabahas as well as by Muslim Sufi philosophers. Balls traveled and sang in search of the internal ideal, Monar Manush, man of the heart or the inner being, and described superfluous differences between religions. Lalan Fakir, alternatively known as Lalan Shah, who lived in the 19th century in and around Kushtia, is considered to be the greatest of all balls. Topic. Rabindra Sangeet The greatest personality in Bengali music is, without a doubt, none other than Rabindranath Tagore known in Bengali as Rabi Thakur and Gurudev, the latter meaning, respected teacher. In the Bengal of that time, the suffix Deb was an honorific, ascribed to people who enjoyed immense respect, but this title was primarily used by his students at Santinaketan, though many others did use the address. Tagore was a prolific composer with around 2,230 songs to his credit. His songs are known as Rabindrasangat, Tagore Song, which merges fluidly into his literature, most of which poems or parts of novels, stories, or plays alike were lyricized. Influenced by the Thumri style of Hindustani music, they ran the entire gamut of human emotion, ranging from his early dirge like Brahmo devotional hymns to quasi erotic compositions. They emulated the tonal color of classical ragas to varying extents. Some songs mimicked a given raga's melody and rhythm faithfully, others newly blended elements of different ragas. Yet about nine-tenths of his work was not bonga gaan, the body of tunes revamped with fresh value from select western, Hindustani, Bengali folk and other regional flavors external to Tagore's own ancestral culture. His music is an exemplary instance of Kavya Giti, a style of composition that later found widespread use in the music industries at Bombay and Calcutta. In 1971, Amar Shonar Bangla became the national anthem of Bangladesh. It was written, ironically, to protest the 1905 partition of Bengal along communal lines, cutting off the Muslim majority East Bengal from Hindu-dominated West Bengal was to avert a regional bloodbath. Tagore saw the partition as a cunning plan to stop the independence movement, and he aimed to rekindle Bengali unity and tar communalism. 
Jana Gana Mana was written in Shadu Bhasha, a Sanskritized form of Bengali, and is the first of five stanzas of the Brahmo hymn Baro Bhagyo Bidhata that Tagore composed. It was first sung in 1911 at a Calcutta session of the Indian National Congress and was adopted in 1950 by the Constituent Assembly of the Republic of India as its national anthem. For Bengalis, the song's appeal, stemming from the combination of emotive strength and beauty described as surpassing even Tagore's poetry, was such that the modern review observed that, T here is in Bengal no cultured home where Rabindranath's songs are not sung or at least attempted to be sung. Even illiterate villagers sing his songs. Tagore influenced sitar maestro Vilayat Khan and Saradiya's Buddhadev Das Gupta and Amjad Ali Khan. Most of his musical poems are detailed in two series of books: the Jitabhadan that only has the texts of the poems, and the Swarabhadan that has the poems and their musical notation. However, there exist several poems of his that are set to music and yet find no mention in either of the above. These are handed down from his students to their students, and so on. Some of the notable exponents of Rabindrasangeet are Shantideb Ghosh, Shalajaranhan Majumdar, Dababrata Biswas, Pankaj Kumar Mulak, Kalim Sharafi, Kanika Bindiopadie, Rajeshwara Datta, Malati Ghoshal, Nalima Sen, Suchitra Mitra, Abharup Guhathakorta, Lesa Ahmed Lisa, Ashish Bhattacharya, Purba Dam, Aditi Mosin, Reswana Choudhury Banya, Samitra Sen, Santosh Sengupta, Subhanoy Roy, Chinmoy Chatterjee, Hamanta Mukhopadhyay, Dwijan Mukhopadhyay, Sagar Sen, Ashokitaru Bandopadi, Santosh Thakur, Supriti Ghosh, Ritu Guha, Parabi Mukhopadhyay, Maya Sen, Biba Sengupta, Kamala Basu, Sangamitra Gupta, Gita Ghatak, Sushil Mulak, Pijushkanti Sarkar, Argya Sen, Kabir Suman, Sharmala Roy Pamit, Swastika Mukhopadhyay, Shubho Guhathakorta, Rano Guhathakorta, Agniba Bandopadi, Banani Ghosh, Mita Hak, Pramita Mulak, Indrani Sen, Sraboni Sen, Srikanto Acharya, Manoj Murali Nair, Jayati Shah. Chakraborty, Supradik Das, Shreya Guhathakorta, Parama Ghatak, Sahana Bajpai, Durnabar Saha among many many others. <laughs> Nasrul Giti Another influential body of work is that of Qazi Nasrul Islam, which constitutes what is known as Nasrul Giti. Some of the notable Nasrul Giti singers from India include Suprova Sarkar, Durendra Chandra Mitra, Manabendra Mukhopadhyay, Dr. Anjali Mukhopadhyay, Dirain Bose, Adhir Bagchi, Parabi Dutta, Feroza Begum, Anup Ghoshal, and Bangladeshi singer Saurabh Hossain. Shyama Sangeet Shyama Sangeet is a genre of Bengali devotional songs dedicated to the Hindu goddess Shyama or Kali which is a form of supreme universal mother goddess Durga or Parvati. It is also known as Shaktajiti or Durgastuti. Shyama Sangeet appeals to the common man because it is a musical representation of the relationship of eternal and sublime love and care between the mother and her child. It is free of the common rituals of worship and also the esoteric practice of the Tantra. Dwijendragiti Dwijendralal raised Dwijendragiti the songs of Dwijendralal, which number over 500, create a separate subgenre of Bengali music. Two of Dwijendralal Ray's most famous compositions are Dana Danya Pushpa Bara and Banga Amar Janani Amar. Ray is regarded as one of the most important figures in early modern Bengali literature. Atulprasadi Atulprasadi, one of the major lyricist and composers of early modern period, is also widely popular. In Pashambanga, Atul Prasad is credited with introducing the Thumri style in Bengali music. His songs centered on three broad subjects, patriotism, devotion and love. Prabhat Samgita Prabhat Samgita also known as Songs of a New Dawn and Prabhat Songs, are songs composed by Prabhat Ranjan Sarkar. 
Sarkar composed a total of 5,018 songs including the lyrics and the tune, in a period of eight years from 1982 until his death in 1990, making using of eight different languages, Bengali, Hindi, English, Sanskrit, Urdu, Magahi, Maithili and Angika. Other Bhatiali Bawaya Damail Gambara Kavagan – poems sung with simple music usually presented on stage as a musical battle between poets. Jatra Pala – songs associated exclusively with plays performed on stage. Usually involves colorful presentations of historical themes. Numerous other poets and composers had laid the foundation for the rich repertoire of Bengali music in the 19th century and early 20th century. Some stalwarts of this ear include Ramnidi Gupta, commonly known as Nidu Babu, Lalan Fakir, Atul Prasad Sen, Dwajendralal Ray, Rajanikanta Sen, and a large canon of patriotic songs from India's independence movement. Modern Bengali music Modern Bengali music has been enriched by Indian singers like Jaganmoy Mitra who is considered a pioneer of modern song, as well as artists such as Hamanta Kumar Mukhopadhyay, Manabendra Mukhopadhyay, Sandhya Mukhopadhyay, Mana Day, Gita Dutta, Sachin Dev Berman, Dr. Bhupen Hazarika, Lata Mangeshkar, Asha Bansal, Kishore Kumar, Ardi Mukherjee, Amit Kumar, Shibaji Chatterjee, Kumar Sanu, Dhanajay Bhattacharya, Shyamal Mitra, Shreya Ghoshal, Tarun Bandopadhyay, Satinath Mukhopadhyay, Srirata Bandiopadhyay, Dwijan Mukhopadhyay, Manabendra Mukhopadhyay, Matali Mukherjee, Sadirlal Chakraborty (1916–1952), Robin Majumdar, Bechu Dutta, Gauri Kedar Bhattacharya, Satya Chowdhury, Sachin Gupta, Subir Sen, Dilip Kumar Roy, Uma Bose, Kanan Devi, Sabitri Ghosh, Ila Ghosh, Kamala Jaria, Angarbala, Indubala, Upala Sen, Gayatri Bose, Supriti Ghosh, Al. Panna Banerjee, Protima Banerjee, Sabita Chowdhury. Manas Khanda Azam Khan, Abdul Jabbar, Apel Mahmood, Ferdasi Rahman, Horshid Alam, Bashir Ahmed, Syed Abdul Hadi, Shanaz Ramatula, Kalim Sharafi, Abida Sultana, Kanak Chapa, Shakila Zafar, Samina Chowdhury, Happy Akhand, Lucky Akhand, Maksud, Arnab, Mila, Farida Parvin, Latif Sani, Bari Siddiqui, Anushay Anadil, Sabina Yasmin, and Runa Layla all hailing from Bangladesh. Krishna Chandra Day, Babani Sharan Das, Radharani Debi, Rinalkanti Ghosh, Panilal Bhattacharya, Hiralal Sarkhel, Nirmal Bhattacharya, Kirtan Samrat Ratnaswar Mukhopadhyay and Gitashri Chobi Bandopadi were famous for their renditions of devotional songs, while Abbasuddin Ahmed, Abdul Alim, Rahoman Boyati, Indromohan Rajabangshi, Kiran Chandra Roy, Manas Khanda Nirmalandu Chowdhury were stalwarts in singing Bengali folk music. Sanat Sinha and Japamala Ghosh carved out a niche in children's songs. Bengali music is highly indebted to legends like Kazi Nazrul Islam, Rabindranath Tagore, Jassim Adin, Fokir Lalan Sani, Bal Abdul Karim, Hasan Raza, Kari Amiruddin, Kobi Zalal and many more. All traditional Bengali music is based on classical music or on its variations. Some of the most reputed classical musicians of the subcontinent come from Bengal including Ostad Aladdin Khan, Sangeetacharya Tarapada Chakraborty, Pandit Jnan Prakash Ghosh Pandit Ravi Shankar, Pandit Manas Chakraborty, Ostad Ayat Ali Khan and Ostad Abed Hossein Khan. Notable Bengali music composers active in Calcutta Kolkata in the 1930s through the 1980s include Hamangshu Dutta, Kamal Das Gupta, Rai Chand Boral, Timurburan Bhattacharya, Pankaj Kumar Mulak, Anupam Ghatak, Sachin Dev Burman, Durga Sen, Kalapada Sen, Gopan Mulak, Nashikita Ghosh, Akalbandhu Ghosh Robin Chattopadhyay, Hamanta Kumar Mukhopadhyay, Salil Chowdhury, Sudan Das Gupta, Shyamal Mitra, Pabitra Chattopadhyay, Anil Chattopadhyay, Anil Bagchi, Abhijit Bandopadi, Rahul Deb Berman, Kabir Suman Ajoy Das, and Bapi Lahiri, while Ajoy Bhattacharya, Hiran Bose, Subodh Purakayastha, Pranab Roy, Salin Roy, Gauri Prasanna Majumdar, Shyamal Gupta, Pulak Bindiopadhyay, and Mukul Dutta were well known lyricists. Jeet Ganguly is a modern music composer of Bengali film songs and Bollywood songs.
Topic: <inaudible> Bengali rock. Bengali rock is a music genre in which the song lyrics are written in the Bengali language. It may refer to rock music of Bangladesh. Rock music of West Bengal Western influence has resulted in the emergence of the phenomenon of Bengali bands, both in Dhaka and in Kolkata, as well as songs reflecting the joys and sorrows of the common man, Jibanmukhi Gan songs from life. Bengali bands became popular with young people in the 1970s, both in India and Bangladesh, and have since become entrenched in modern Bengali culture. Recently, traditional folk-based Bengali songs are also being released by bands. Rock music of West Bengal Rock music of West Bengal originated in Kolkata, West Bengal, India. The first known Bengali rock band was Mohinar Goraguli and also India's first rock band. In modern times, in this type of music distorted electric guitars, bass guitar, and drums are used, and sometimes accompanied with pianos and keyboards and in early times the instruments used in the modern times were also accompanied by saxophone, flute, violin and bass violin. Bumi a Bengali rock band formed in 1999 has also been using flute in their music. Rock music of Bangladesh Bangladeshi rock is the rock music of Bangladesh. It originated in Chittagong with Souls, which was formed in 1970. Distortion, electric and bass guitars and drums are used, sometimes accompanied by piano or other keyboard instruments. In the past, it was accompanied by saxophone, flute, violin and bass violin. Famous band Bangladesh Some famous Bangladeshi bands are Miles, Nagar Ball, Ark, LRB, Warface, Feedback, Souls, Prometheus, Ark, Joel Ergon, Renaissance, Nova, Obscure, Chime, Artcell, Arthohin, Maxud O Dhaka, Black, Sharonamhan, Cryptic Fate, Scarecrow, Arbovirus, Nemesis Renaissance. India bands like Mohanar Goraguli, Bhumi, Chandrabindu, A5, Porish Pathur, Fossils, Band, Cactus, Indian Band, Lakichara, Autonomous Beats, Crosswinds, Kalparush, Skinny Alley, Prashir, The Anupam Roy Band, Cross Theory, India, Ragaz, Shahar, Aliens, Ishan, Calcutta Blues, Kaya, Blood, Cryptic Road, Adyaya Daya, N10, Pritibi, Pota R. Marudian, etc. English bands from Kolkata include Cassini's Division, Bolapur Blues, Insomnia Band, Underground Authority, Pseudonym, Chronic Zorn, Yonsample, What Escapes Me, Evil Conscience of Kolkata, India are also notable. Singers like Ajoy Chakraborty and Kaushiki Chakraborty are working to bring back classical raga influence into Bengali music. Bengali bands use a wide variety of styles such as rock, pop, folk, and fusion. Their music is influenced both by popular American music as well as traditional Bengali folk music such as Zari, Sari, Bhatiali, Bawaya, Shyama Sangeet and Ball. Bangladeshi Hip-Hop Bangladeshi Hip-Hop is a genre of music and culture that covers a variety of styles of hip-hop music developed in Bangladesh. Bangladeshi Hip-Hop is heavily influenced by U.S. Hip-Hop, and started in early 2000. Notes Works cited Tagore, Rabindranath, Dutta, K. Editor, Robinson, A. Editor Selected Letters of Rabindranath Tagore, Cambridge University Press Published 28 June 1997, ISBN 978-0-521-59018-1 CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link.